Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel guys. I'm going to get baby jersey dressed. I'm going to see what he looks like in some different colors. I kind of mix matched. I'm using his socks that he came with but I'm going to put him on something that I already had. Just so I can get an idea of what his colors are going to be. So um, we have been spending our time bonding. So I'm going to get him, like I said, get him dressed and um, so that I can, he'll be getting up soon for another bottle. So we're going to go ahead and get him out of this onesie. He is so sweet. He smells so good, guys. I am so happy that he is home. Look at his little self. Oh my goodness. I'm so sweet. Yo, I'm telling you guys, it's nothing like, you know, I've missed it so much, like getting, you know, just opening up the baby, getting a baby, being able to just love them without having to put in the work for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is just amazing to just have him here, like. Yeah, and he just smells so good. He smells so good. I love the way, um, you know, I I love the way that <laughs> that Asha sends her babies home. Babies, you know, they smell so good, and they come with all their little goodies. Like, oh my goodness, like okay, Mama, you gotta. It's like I need to do better, cause oh child, y'all, y'all used to all this love. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at those wolf piggies. <laughs> so, yeah. So he had a good night. He didn't fuss at all. He is such a sweet baby. He, um, he's not a big drinker. Um, but, you know, he does let you know when he's hungry, though. He will fuss. A little bit then oh, let me take these off i don't know why i'm acting like he gotta keep these on but yeah he will let you know when he's he's um hungry it's just been a trip i haven't um let mimi get um i haven't let mimi get to be like around him to see how she is with him but i know Lulu is really fond of him and as you can see that's her sitting over to the side she has not wanted him to be moved from by her like as soon as you act like you finna move him she be like looking at you following you with her eyes like where you taking my brother <laughs> so I can definitely tell she's gonna be very protective over him oh you do look good in these colors I'm loving you in these colors already. But, um, I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for the fall. So ready for the fall. So, um, I'm going to just talk about it really briefly. I was going to do it in just the, um, chat box, but, you know, I love you guys too. You guys have been rocking with me for a long time. Most of you guys, um, on the, uh, Gym Pop. Now, mind you, this is a, a smaller onesie this is like smaller than newborn so that's why it's kind of snug but that's okay but um so yeah amongst a lot of things I've had a lot of things going on but um those that have you know went and followed um my um daughter's channel which is on the community tab and I don't forgot the name the, the I don't forgot her channel name but um she was just, you know, sharing that she actually had, um, had got COVID and, um, these got the little things on the bottom. So she had got, she, had, she got COVID. Um, I believe that she got it from work, um, because someone, you know, there had, um, Either they had it or their family had it and they didn't, they hadn't, they had been, you know, working close together or whatever. I don't know. 
And so I just feel like um, that's what happened. But not sure, like she said in her video. But, you know, it was very, very, very um, stressful, very scary. Um, because, you know, she's pregnant. Um, first baby, still, you know, fairly early on. This is probably too little for him, but we're going to try it on anyway. Because I didn't bring him an alternative outfit. But I can tell these things are a tight fit. <laughs> Drew used to fit the weddies. But, um, are they all right? Um, but, yeah, so, um, you know, it was, it was just scary. And, you know, I've, you know, had already had a scary, you know, episode with my first daughter and her, her babies. And so, you know, I'm, you know, I was just, my nerves just so bad and everything. And so, um, you know, and then, you know, the, the unknown, cause you know, you don't know, you know, what's going to be what. And it wasn't like, you know, at first she was kind of, you know, her heart rate was up and she couldn't stand up without feeling like she was about to pass out. She couldn't, she was having a hard time breathing type thing, you know, and, you know, it was just, it was just scary. And then, you know, of course you can't go, you can't be there. So even though I spent <laughs> probably 80% of the time on FaceTime with her, it was just, it was just a scary, um, scary situation and that had me stressed and so we're we're rolling into week three now um i did go and get myself tested as well just because you know as you know um she does come to my house you know from time to time but of course i tested negative but she, like she said she always wear her mask we even wear our mask in the house around each other a lot of times so um you know, it's just, and we, even in the house, we kind of like distance ourselves. We're not usually right up, right up on each other and stuff. So, you know, that was a good thing. Um, but I hadn't seen her other than, you know, her dropping something off outside, um, before she started having symptoms. So, um, but I'm just, you know, I, I'm grateful that she's, she appear to be, you know, making a full recovery. The baby been very active and stuff like that. But like I said, I was just, it was just so stressful. And of course, I'm, you know, kind of on guard until we got a couple more months before the baby is born. So we ended up deciding um, that we're not going to even try to attempt to do a baby shower in this climate. And, you know, with this pandemic right now. We're just not going to even go there because, I mean, it's it's just too much. You know, trying to, you know, keep her protected, keep, you know, everybody safe and stuff. It's just not worth it. So, you know, I, you know, I just told her, don't worry about it. Grandma going to be, you know, not grandma, mama going to be, you know, doing what I can or whatever. So, I um just started you know, really go ahead and start really, really packing up on her stuff for her and stuff and the baby. And we just, yeah, we, I'm like, and then we was like, let's do the drive by baby shower. But you know, I don't know how well those work. Like I've heard people doing it and some of them been successful, but I don't know. But anyway, so that was part of everything that was going on. So I'm starting to feel better because she's starting to feel better. And so, you know, at least my biggest stress is kind of like lifted a little bit, you know. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just crazy. And then, you know, a lot of time like running and stuff like that and like um, dropping stuff off by her door. So that was funny because I was constantly like taking stuff and dropping it off at her door and and then she would wait, you know, until I'm, you know, gone and, and then open the door, get the stuff. Once she got back home, um, 
you know, just all the different scares. And, you know, one morning she's like, you know, his name is going to, the baby's name is going to be Bryson. So Bryson, and we've been calling him by his name. So Bryson is just like, she was like, Bryson's not moving like he normally moves because he normally, you know, get up because she's on a schedule, her work schedule, and the baby seems to be on her work schedule. So he's usually up kicking and all this stuff. And she's like, he's not doing it. And then, you know, I drink something cold, drink something sweet, you know, like not, you know, not nothing like sugar or anything, but like um, apple juice or something like that. Cause you know, with COVID you don't need to be having no sugars and all that stuff. But anyway, so um, she just, you know, it was just like, um, so it freaked us out. So, you know, about nine o'clock, I'm like, listen, call your doctor. Go ahead. You know, she was at this point, she was feeling strong enough to drive herself to her, to the doctor where her midwives are. And so she, she drove herself there. Da, 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 da. Anyway, they kept her, well, they once again transported her to another hospital. And then they kept her overnight. It's just like up and down, up and down. So she had two hospital stays and you know, it was just, you know, the fever back and forth. If you see on her video, you'll see I sent her a thermometer that was like the next day after the second hospital visit, or the, well, the first hospital visit, I think. So it's just, it's just been, it was just a very up and down situation. Um, you know, when I thought she was doing better and everything was, you know, okay, then it would be like, you know, I was just something else and then it's like, Oh gosh, you know, so, but, um, they did a lot of monitoring of the baby and his heart rate and his oxygen levels and all that and stuff and everything was fine. Um, I still don't really want to really talk about it, talk about it yet. I, I really just want her to be well and wait for Bryson to get home and everything, you know, cause right now everybody is in this thing where everybody wants to debate vaccinate or not to vaccinate and all that stuff and i really don't care to get into that discussion because i feel like that's a personal choice whatever decision you make one way or the other it's a risk either way it go it's a risk you know it's a you know the vac vaccine is a risk not getting the vaccine a risk you know so i just don't want to get into that and i know this is a doll channel but guys if you know you can click off if you want to but i'm just telling you guys this is why i've been like very like off to myself kind of like you know, I'm posting here and there and I'm doing videos, but my mind is just kind of been not really there. And then I've had to do a lot of running back and forth because, um, yeah, I just, you know, that's just me. I'm just the overprotective mom, I guess. I don't know, but I think any mom in their right mind would have been experiencing the same thing as me. And I'm a very hands-on mom so um yeah so anyway my girl is seem to be doing good I think she's doing you know much better she still got that cough um but I'm assuming that's gonna take a while but I've been working on it trust me you know how we be doing it look a little of this a little of that we gonna get rid of that cough um and I think that um, one other thing I do want to share, I do strongly believe that, you know, being home was much better for her than actually being in the hospital because the hospital was horrible. Um, they would have nurses on shift that would be great and then they would have some that was off, just awful. But that's a whole nother story. If you guys want to hear more into detail about, you know, the different symptoms and the other stuff or whatever, um, I can get her to, you know, we can maybe do, I can call on a live when we do a live or whatever. And you guys can, you know, hear more about it. I know a lot of people are experiencing it with their family members and, you know, people around them or people just want to know what it's like, what it looked like up close. And that was my first time of somebody that close to me, you know, having it. And, you know, I had a coworker that, you know, had coworkers and stuff that had gotten it, but they were like some, most of them was out of state. And then 
you know, even the ones that was right there, it's not like I was, you know, close enough to know what was actually taking place behind the scenes with the health side of it. So anyway, so that, that really was, you know, pulling me away. And so, um, like I said, if, if you felt like I was ignoring you and your messages and stuff or not really responding, I got a lot going on. My family comes first. My hobby is definitely um, going to always take the back seat to my family. Um, so, um, especially my kids more than anything. So that's that. But I think I will be back in full swing of things. I was still kind of working though. Um, but it was hard to work because this girl literally had me on the line like the entire time. Like I was going days without sleeping. Um, I don't know if she was just scared and not wanting to say it. And she didn't want me to go. But um, one one thing I'll tell y'all this, this is kind of funny. Um, when they the very first time when she went to the doctor to the hospital and they I don't know they now I'm not gonna say life flighted her but they took her in the ambulance to um you know a, a more uh, um what do you call it trauma center and um her cell phone was dying because she had been in the other hospital for like hours and of course she left her cell phone in the car. And she was like, she texted me and she said, mom, my phone is going to die. I said, well, when you get to the whatever room, you know, call me from that phone. And, you know, I gave her a little bit of time. But listen, I was calling all over the place trying to get a hold of her. And I finally got them to give me the room, um, the room number. And <laughs> I, um, so I called and when I called the the nurse was laughing she was like this is mom and I was like yeah she said she said you was gonna find find her she was like my mom she was like my mom gonna be looking for me because <laughs> I was like you got that right baby because listen if I would have got her on that phone but I thought I sat down it took me like two hours to get her if I wouldn't have found her, no, I was, it probably was less than two hours. I was like, oh, listen, I had already made my plan. I'm going out to this hospital, and that's just that. But, you know, like they were saying, they was trying to get her out of there because they were saying that's the worst place she could be because so many people was in a sick and stuff. Oh, my God, this pandemic is just... People not taking it as serious as it is. And I know, you know, like even people in our within our community has been affected by you know, COVID and we've seen, we've, we've lost people in the community from co you know, um, due to COVID complications or whatever and stuff. So, you know, some people know it's actually real, but to, when you really get up close and personal to it, it's like, it's, it's, it's different. And, you know, you got to keep in mind, this is coming from a place of a mom that has had, you know, primarily very healthy children like um Gabby got sick more than the old the grown kids but the grown kids like never really got sick so when you you know for her to be sick like that it was just scary and then you know on top of it be pregnant you know and she, Tabitha is very attached to this baby like very very attached to this baby already um she's you know she that's a whole nother story but Child, I'll tell y'all about how extra she is already. And so I was just scared. Like, oh my gosh. And anyway, I don't want to get too deep into it because she might watch the video. And yeah. So, <laughs> um, like I said, it'll be even more stuff to talk about maybe in the chat box after. Or, um, you know. But, yeah. So... That's one of the things that was going on. <laughs> but I hope that everybody's staying safe. You know, um, make sure you keep in trying to do the best you can with keeping your immune system up and everything. Because I do believe that that does definitely play a role in, you know, things. And I'm not saying that it's going to save the world, but it ain't going to hurt to be healthy. Anyway, until then... Me and Jersey is about to go. I'm about to get him his bottle. And that is it. Bye-bye.